tension. Ooh. Welcome everybody, this is the Phantom Flyer, this is day one of uh, the flying log. Um, we've got nice weather today, I was actually quite surprised, I was looking on the weather forecast today and we were going to have cloud and possibly some rain. So uh, woke up this morning, had a few errands to do this morning and then I thought to myself, let's go for a fly. So we're on our way down to a place called Gullen, just to the east of Edinburgh. Uh, it's a long, open beach. Plenty of uh, places where... Uh, move my microphone. Uh, plenty of places where dogs go walking. There's a golf course next to it, to the east of it. Um, so from the car park, there's a small bridge. We'll take off from there have a look around at the edge and then what we'll do is we'll send you guys out across the the sand to two midget submarines which are used during the Second World War. They uh, they stopped using them uh, just shortly afterwards and they used, used to put them up on the beach for training the RAF, from what I understand anyway. So I've just uh, I've just parked the car up. We're going to have a walk down to the front. Um, as you can see, it's nice open area. Going to get the the drone out. We're going to have a little fly, see what's about. But like I say, it's nice weather, nice blue sky. Can't go wrong with a bit of blue sky in February, can you? Oh, we'll go down to the front down here. I think it's a little bit chilly. I think a long sleeve shirt won't do. Oh, watch the boop. Ugh. I didn't get any. That's good. Joe, why do people just let their dogs go? Ugh. One thing I often do is forget to remove this. That's why I've got that. I always seem to forget. Not today. So I was doing a little bit of an investigation into these submarines before we, I left the car and their XT submarines, there was six of them made but two of them are here up at Abalady Bay in Gullen where people are free to go and see them. But yeah, as I explained earlier, they were used as, as target training after the Second World War. But they used to hold four people and they had the same engine that they used in the London buses during the Second World War as well. This looks like a great vantage point up here. Let's go take a wander. Let's go and have a look. Do you just wouldn't believe this is just down the road from Edinburgh, let alone Scotland. You can just see, if I go up here, <coughs> Ooh, that's hard work going up that. So, let's put 
put my uh, tripod down. Right. So, just over there are the two submarines. You've got Arthur's seat and you've got the Pentlands just beyond. Okay guys, so I've reached the beach. Let's get this thing sorted. It's been a good afternoon fly. Managed to get some nice shots or going across the water at low level. And then up to the, the subs. Got a couple of orbits around the subs. Some flyovers, got some pictures as well. And there were some runners going down the beach as well, which I managed to get a couple of shots of as well and some video. So I hope they didn't mind, I was well within my 50 metres away from them in a public place, so no, all in all that was a good day, yay! Bar am you, bar am you, obviously not saying it right, that pig never had trouble, hmm, mint sauce!